Hello and welcome to this session on Docker interview questions. In this session, I am going to discuss what is Docker, how Docker works, difference between virtualization and containerization. I will explain the Docker architecture, the advantages of using Docker, and we will also see what are Docker images, Docker containers, Docker file, Docker compose, and Docker machine. So let's get started with the very first question. What is Docker? Docker is the world's leading software container platform. So what does that mean? If you go to your browser and go to Google and search what is Docker, you will find this Wikipedia definition that says Docker is a computer program that performs operating system level virtualization, also known as containerization. Now, what does this mean? Let us understand this in a very easy way. So today, whenever we create any software application, it consists of multiple software components. So they can be some front end components. They may be some back end components, uh, associated database, some environments and libraries over which our application is dependent. And now we have to make sure that our application will work on all the required platforms, whether they are desktop, mobile platforms, any servers or any other environment. And to make sure that our application will work here properly in all the environments, we have to ensure that every component is portable and compatible on all the platforms. Now, this is a great challenge because today in our agile world, we make changes every week, every day and every hour. And after every change, we have to ensure that everything is compatible on every platform. So if we create a matrix out of this, you can see here are our software components and at the bottom you can see the platforms where we have to ensure our components work. So for every components, we have to check the compatibility and portability with every possible platforms. Now this can be very challenging and very difficult. If we look at a similar problem that existed in the shipping industry many, many years ago, we had a similar problem. We had different kinds of goods and we had to ensure that every good can be shipped through multiple means to various platforms. Now again, there can be so many different goods of different sizes and shapes and to ensure that we have a special shipping mechanism for every possible unique good is a very challenging task. So we solved this problem in the shipping industry using containers. So containers are these standard boxes and whatever size and shape and weight and color of your good is, you can always pack your goods into this standard containers and then they can be shipped in a standard way to any location. So this revolutionized the shipping industry and the things you see around yourself, they must have been through one of these containers at some point in the time. So coming back to our problem, can we use some similar solution for our problem? The answer is yes. And the answer is containerization technology. So we can again ship our application along with all its components and dependencies into containers and using some container platform like Docker, we can ship them to any platform. So Docker is a container platform and it is a tool which is designed to make the deployment and running of applications easier. And basically containers allow a developer to package the entire application along with its all dependencies into a single package and then it can be shipped using any container platform like Docker. So now you can imagine a developer will pack all its application and components into a container and then using Docker it can be shipped and deployed to any platforms and it will work completely okay and fine on all these platforms. So that is what Docker is. Let us see how Docker works. So let's say you are a developer. If you are using Docker, you will create a Docker file. Now Docker file is a text file which has instructions to create a Docker image. If you need more information on how to create Docker file and how does a Docker file creates a Docker image, you can watch my video on Docker file. So a developer will create a Docker file and we can build a docker file using docker build command and it will create a docker image and then we can create a container from the docker image using the docker run command so that will create a docker container which can be shipped to any platform and we can also push our docker image to any repository 
like Docker Hub. So Docker Hub is the Docker cloud repository where we can push our images or any other registry as well. And then from that registry, we can again pull the image and actually create Docker container on any environment. So we can create a Docker container on QA environment, on a production environment, and we can be sure that our application is going to work in exactly the same way in any environment. So this is one of the main advantages of using Docker. If you want to deploy your application on multiple platforms, you just have to build it once and using Docker containers, you can deploy it and in multiple platforms and it will work exactly the same way in every platforms. So here you create a Docker image and pull it to create Docker containers. Also, if you go to your browser and search for how Docker works and let me go to the images section and let us see this image. So here you can see this is the basic working of Docker. When you install Docker on your system, you get a Docker client and a Docker host. So Docker client as well as Docker host resides on the operating system or the system where you have installed Docker. And Docker client is actually the command line where you give your Docker commands like Docker build, Docker pulled, Docker run. So the user interacts with the Docker client. And then we have a Docker host that has a Docker daemon and there is an images section and a container section. So here we can have a registry like Docker Hub or any registry on the cloud from where we can pull the images using Docker pull command. And then we can create containers by using Docker run. So using the images, we can create containers. So let us go back and we have learned how Docker works. Let us see what is the difference between virtualization and containerization. So here, in virtualization, we use virtual machines. So using some software applications and programs like hypervisor, we can have virtual machine on our operating system or on our systems. And virtual machines have their own operating system over which we can deploy some other apps. So when you create a virtual machine, you have to allocate some hard disk space and some memory from your own operating system. So for example, if you have allocated 4 GB of hard disk space and 2 GB of memory that will be permanently allocated to that virtual machine as long as the virtual machine is running and irrespective of the applications running on the virtual machine the amount of storage and memory being consumed by the application it will always be taking a fixed amount of hard disk and memory that you have allocated. So that is what virtual machine is and that is what virtualization is. When we discuss about containerization, here we do not have hypervisor, here we have container engine and we do not have a separate operating system for every container. We actually have just the dependencies and it uses the host operating system. So we do not have separate operating system for every container. And here the advantage is it will only use the space and memory that is required to run the application and rest of it is free and can be used by the host operating system or can also be used to create other containers. So also you can create a container over a virtual machine, but if you do not want, you can directly create containers over your host operating system. Let us also go to our browser and if you search for Docker versus virtual machine and you go to any images, uh, here you can see, so you can see this is the same thing that we learned. We have hypervisor and then virtual machine that have their own operating system. In case of containers, we do not have their own operating system. And then also the major advantage is it does not use a lot of resources it will only use the resources required to run the application over the containers. Let us now go to Docker architecture. So Docker has a client server architecture and whenever you install Docker on your system or any system, you get two components. One is the client, which is the command line where you give the Docker commands. And then we have a Docker daemon. And then this all is called the Docker engine. So again, let me go to my browser and if you search for Docker architecture and go to images section, here you can see some of the architecture. Let me go to this very simple image. And this also explain the same thing which we have already seen. So this part client and Docker host exists on the host machine. And this registry is the 
separate part which can be docker hub from where we can pull and push images but here is the main architecture of docker from the client we can issue these commands and the docker host has docker daemon images and container section where we have the images and containers stored so the daemon or the server receive the command from docker client through rest apis or any other protocol and then the docker client and daemon can be present on the same host machine or it can also be present on the different host machines let us go to look at some of the advantages of using docker one of the main advantages you do not have to deploy and build your application on multiple platforms once you have built your application you can package it into a container and this container can be deployed with the help of docker on any platform any number of times the other major advantage is you do not have to worry about the environment configurations and environment parameters you can be sure that if it is working on one environment it will work exactly the same on any other environment other major advantage of using docker is portability and docker containers can run on any platform it can be your local system or it can also be a remote machine and even if you want to port your containers from one machine to other that is also very easy with docker so you can do version controlling in docker like git so you can version control your images the other advantage of container technology is every application works in its own container so there is isolation the application running on one docker container does not interfere with any other application in any other container or even with any application on the host system and with all these features the productivity increases because now you do not have to worry about build and deployment about environment configurations parameters and all these things so productivity and efficiency increases with docker and in very simple words docker simplifies devops now i am going to stop this particular video here and i will have part 2 where we will discuss about docker images containers docker file compose and docker machine I hope this session was very useful for you. Thank you for watching.